how to find an angle using alternate interior angles. The first thing you have to do is you have to make sure that the angles are in fact alternate interior angles. You know angles are alternate interior angles if uh, both angles are on the inside of the two parallel lines. Okay, so so far this angle and this angle are both on the inside of the parallel lines. And then also, you have to make sure that the angles are on opposite sides of the transversal. So the transversal is the line that cuts across the parallel lines. So that's it here. And in fact, our angles are on opposite sides. So that's why they're interior and they're alternate here. Okay, so then once you know that angles are alternate interior angles, then you know they're congruent by definition. And that's pretty cool. And that completes our problem.